Good afternoon, everybody. The weekend's here. Work's over. Well, actually, no, it's not quite over, is it? I've still got a job to do. Namely, I've got to get to the fucking London Victoria Street station, haven't I? For the 1st of June. So technically, my work is not quite over yet. Though it didn't stop O2 from trying to harass me while I was at work. But that's not why you called. What I want to talk about today is a particular group of people that I may have made a video at all a two about them for all I know, but I feel like I need to do another because these people do deserve to be held to account for who they are and what they've actually done. So let's play a quick game of who am I? I was part of Searchlight and I also was part of a massive campaign to see a particular man jailed using falsified evidence. This one individual tried to contact us or even myself, and I basically told him that he should send it in an email so I effectively can dump it and get rid of it so I have this man off my back. I'm a person who leads this organization and the organization has been found to have overinflated hate crime figures by over 3,000%, and yet I somehow still think that I should be taken as credible news. Who am I? I'm gonna give you 10 seconds for that one. Time's up. Nick Knowles. Or is it Lowell's? I can't remember off the top of my head. The guy who's basically the leader of Hate Not Hope. I mean Hope Not Hate. Or maybe I was right first time. A man who basically leads a group of people who it is their day in, day out exercise and basically to do everything they can to slaughter Tommy Robinson, metaphorically speaking. It is very sad when there are groups of people like Hate Not Hope who are effectively going out of their way every single day and rather than, oh I don't know, like I do when I go to work, sort out paperwork, collate paperwork, make sure everything's printed, make sure factories and what have you have whatever they need or whatever the job entails, generally speaking, rather than do that they have one task and they dedicate it to Tommy Robertson's downfall. In a sense, they're a bit like a poorly trained militia. They go into battle with their fucking pitchforks and their torches and anything else they can get their hands on. But when the fight, and of course I mean this metaphorically, when the fight kicks off, they're either running away like cowards, number one, or number two, they are completely and utterly outmaneuvered and outclassed. Which is kind of hard to believe, considering a lot of these people would be in the political high class, but we're just working class. Anyway, they end up usually getting outclassed by people like Tommy Robinson. And that's simply because they either don't have facts or the truth or both on their side. I'm sure people will recall as well that hate not hope went out of their way to persecute a man, and anybody who's seen the Panadrama documentary will know about this, but if any, in case anybody hasn't seen it, I will link it in the description below. But there was a man who was basically common sense against immigration and what have you, and what Hate Not Hope did is they targeted his employer, they targeted his family, and they effectively tried and succeeded in getting this guy to lose his job. Now anybody who's paid attention to some of my past videos will understand my feelings on this matter exactly. But for those who don't know, I'm gonna clue you in again. I am of the belief that as far as your political views are concerned, if you're in a workplace being employed, as long as you're not shoving your opinions down people's throats, openly discussing it, and at least that your views do not provoke violence or terrorism or hatred, that basically that should be irrelevant. For example, if there was a, a debate with chicken on one side and turkey on the other, there's gonna be a feast at the end of this. Anyway, if there was chicken or turkey on one side of the debate and the other, 
and I said, well, I support chicken because they seem like really nice people. Should that see me fucked? No. I think a lot of people will agree with me on that. That if I have views on something and that is not promoting violence, not promoting hatred, not doing this, that or the other, then I shouldn't be fired. Likewise, he shouldn't. But if I supported turkeys and it turned out that turkeys were calling for the genocide of chickens, then yes, I would understand that particular person or myself being fired for it. Unfortunately, hate not hope would rather ignore these issues and just go after people regardless of their views. Now, last time I checked, I don't think it's promoting hatred or violence or terrorism to be against immigration. But what would I know, quite frankly, with 33 fucking years on this planet and been talking about immigration for God knows how long? They will go after you regardless of your intentions. Obviously, it's more understandable if they were malicious intentions, but unfortunately, we usually end up seeing that most of the ordinary people only want what's best for Britain. But hope not hate, frankly, don't give a shit. And it's sad as well that they are usually the ones who are taken as credible by the World Health Order. I mean, World Health Organization. Or maybe I was right first time again. Or what about how they were taken as credible by NATO and the mainstream media? Yet, yeah, as I said earlier in the video, over 3,000% exaggeration on all hate crime figures. Nothing they said at that point should ever be taken as credible. But of course the mainstream media won't tell you this, because say it with me folks, it doesn't suit the narrative. But this is more important than just what Hate Not Hope have done. It's the message they've sent out to an ordinary person that they have maliciously targeted, and I'm not just talking about Tommy Robinson. If they're willing to go after ordinary people for their views, do you really think that you're safe? It's no different to me not being safe. Effectively, hope not hate doesn't care who you are. If you don't support left-wing Marxist slash globalist stuff, they will come after you. Because they clearly went after that guy. Look how it turned out for him. So it stands to reason why I say we need to get rid of hate not hope because let's be clear on this we are all for getting rid of and inciting hatred getting rid of all that as well we're all for that what we have a problem with is going after people just because you don't agree with their particular opinions though for this it's more a matter of i disagree with what they're doing to people they disagree with like if it was just a matter of they had their opinions, we have ours, and they leave us be, then I'd have no problem with hope not hate. But it's the fact that they will actively go after people and cancel them or destroy their lives or attempt to destroy their lives that I have a big problem with hope not hate. That is why we need to band together as a collective group of patriotic people passionate about their country and we need to deal with these people permanently and I don't mean through violence I mean dealing with them through their own strategies putting them on full blast holding them to account making sure that they pay for any actions that they do against the British people that are not justified because that's the only way we're going to deal with these people once we prove to the world they are not credible that they're malicious in their intentions and that they plan to cancel and destroy the lives of people they disagree with, surely then the government 
and other people around the world will have to wake up to this and hope not hate will disappear just like that because they won't have the credibility they won't have the support and they won't have the legitimacy to continue doing what they're doing that's why I think it's time we've got a movement going to expose hate not hope once again just as Tommy Robinson has and deal with the cancer that is in our country because how do you deal with cancer you excise the tumor and in this case hope not hate are a very fucking big tumor so let's excise this thing and make sure Britain gets better rather than gets buried by people who would rather stab their allies or supposed allies in the back.